hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am kamsa Kula. thank you for clicking in this video if you're new to the channel please subscribe down below and help us grow to 1000 subscribers and i promise you in this channel you're going to find organizing content planning content and also some bible scriptures and sometimes some vlogs here and there so if you are new to the channel you are welcome Today we're talking about career planning. How do you plan out your career? Assuming that you already know what you want to pursue in life. But if you're struggling to find out what you would like to do in life, there's a video that I did. I will leave a link to that video in the description box so that you can go and check it out. Let's get right into planning. So you want to have an idea on how someone can get or achieve or pursue the dream that you want to pursue firstly you will have to do research on the studies that you have to do if you want to pursue this career secondly what certificates do you need for you to qualify to be where you want to be for example if you want to open a business for sure you have to register the business you have to know how you're going to pay taxes and other information that you might have to need to understand so how much experience do you need for you to fill in that position that you want to fill in in that corporate world that you want to work in so you might also have to know if do i have to do any volunteering work is it like a must in my career field for me to at least volunteer while i'm still studying or if i'm not doing anything because i know for example people who sing mostly uh, will tell you how they started singing at church some will tell you how they started singing in family celebrations all of those things that they were doing which were for free were preparing them to get to the point where they are in life right now something that most people i don't think they really really take into consideration is social responsibility if you want to walk where you want to walk what are the responsibilities that come with working where you want to work do you have to be a good representative in your community because i know that other jobs do value ethics more than anything others uh, this one time i'm not sure if it was last year or a year before last year but when do you remember when miss uh universe had this tweet that she tweeted like a time ago and it almost had like a negative impact on her career because people look up to her and then whatever she wrote there was discriminating i think i'm not sure but you have to look at those things because especially now there are even companies that will go into your social media to check like what type of a person are you like what things do you have to stay away from I hope i'm making sense because once you put some of the things on the internet and they're out there they'll forever be out there do some research on what might hinder the process of you becoming the person you want to go do some research on people who've made it into the place where you want to be and look at the struggles that they went through to try and avoid some of them and also they might also help you when you're going through the same struggles you know that you can get through it like there's a solution for that problem you don't have to get stuck there and also you might also have to do some research on people who wanted to become who you want to become but took a short left why did they took a short left why didn't they continue to pursue that career because maybe the challenges they faced they were just too much for them they decided to take a short left to see if how you can avoid taking that short left now you have all this information what right then i want you to create a list of step by step of the things that you have to do for you to achieve that place that you want to achieve the list might be small but it, it might take you years but what we want to do here is there will be times when you feel like Am I still on the right track? There'll be times when you'll start doubting yourself and feel like, uh, I don't think I can do this. So during those times, I don't want you to stop and sit back. I want you to always continue taking that step ahead. So when you have this list, you'll always know that, okay, I know that I have to do this before doing that one. And then after I'm done with this step number two, and then I'll go to step number three, you are going to fall forward. You're not going to fall backwards because 
you'll be doubting yourself you'll have fears but you'll be moving forward let me make an example of this step-by-step -step list that you will have for example you might have to start let's say i'm done with grade 12. i might have to go to university and study industrial engineering I might have to do an in-service training this in-service training is going to be my first work experience so it's regarded before i finish my national diploma in industrial engineering and then i will have to find an internship uh, or learnership depends what the companies call it then that way i can gather at least three to five years worth of experience normally that's what companies would want from someone to call them like a qualified engineer because this was an example so i didn't want to go any more further like there's ecsa that you might have to register for if you want to become an engineer but i did not mention that in this video because it was just going to be a long thing while doing this internship find a niche now industrial engineering is very broad so if you want to focus on everything then it might like slower your process of becoming like that one engineer that is the greatest so i think you have to find your strongest point that you are going to put most focus on one thing that you'll be known for like when they're calling kamisa they know that kamisa is going to fix this type of problem that you might be having after having like an idea of the niche that i want to go into then i want to read more about it so that i will know more about it because studying doesn't end at me doing good in my academics i need to do some research on this niche that i've found and then do more work on it and make sure that i put more work on it than other areas in the workplace lastly i would have to find a job as a senior industrial engineer hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button and help us grow to 1000 subscribers i will see you on my next video goodbye <laughs>